Hi, my name is Charlene Montiagudo, and I want to tell you a story about how the Lord redeemed me from bitterness. So I was 14 years old at that time when we first arrived here in New York. So we moved from the Philippines, and I was born in Manila, Manila, Philippines. September came, and it was high school. That was the part where I remember I just like, felt a little out of place already, you know, so quickly. There was definitely pressure, especially with kids that they don't know you or they make assumptions. I remember at gym class, I would often skip it, you know, because I didn't want to be made fun of because I didn't know how to play baseball. Being that I was new in the country, um, you know, I was placed in this class called Americanization. But, you know, in that class, we were required to carry a dictionary. Even though growing up in the Philippines, that's English is our kind of, it's our main language. Like, learned English since I was, I guess, born. You know, so, so, but people just assuming, they just assumed that new in the country, She's carrying a dictionary. She didn't know, I mean, English. And then I remember this kid just grabbed the dictionary, flipped it open, and then, she, and then started kind of like mocking what language he thought I was speaking. And it hurt because I just remember like, just, you know, having, like in the Philippines, I remember there was an exchange student, you know, she was from Hawaii and very American, beautiful. Everyone embraced her. Everyone wanted to be her best friend. So I figured I would have the same experience and it's like an entire country of them, <laughs> you know? Like people will embrace me, will love me, you know? And, but it wasn't like that at all. So I think that's when it's just, I just, it just started to kind of like, you know, stir inside of me that seed of bitterness where it's just, I have certain expectation about this. I thought it was going to be like this, but then, you know, but how come it's not? That rejection uh, caused me to create bitterness in my heart towards people that I became this shy young girl and I just didn't want to be around people. I never even mentioned it to my parents. I didn't tell them because I thought I was protecting them. Like it was one of those things that I just like, they don't need to know that. They have a lot going on. Like I just kept that to myself. So I have to say it was, I was not only bitter, but it was probably one of the lonely and loneliest season of my life, you know. I did not even realize that until much later on in life when, you know, when the Lord just kind of like, listen, this is not who I created you to be. Even that little timid girl, quiet, trying to hide, this is not who I created you to be. He made me the confident woman that I am today, you know, and to love people and also not to be bitter. So even though the enemy tried so much to, in, to keep that bitterness inside of me, but God worked it out for good. I mean, never thought in my life that I was going to be a part of like, you know, like a multicultural church, multi-generational church, and you know, that I was gonna be a part of a small group that basically meets a lot of people. Like at that time, I didn't wanna be around people, you know, so that's, that's kinda like for me, that's healing. I had every chance to just say that, it, I'll, I'll just go ahead and surround myself with people like me because they're the only ones that accept me. But that's not what God calls us to do. He calls us to be a part of the body of Christ and to love people.
If the Lord can redeem me, He can redeem you too.